Hi and welcome to Zoom TV, the show where we explore everything that flies, drives and floats and invite you along for the experience. Basically, we try to empower you with more information so you can make a better purchasing decision. On today's show, we head to Sunliner's headquarters in Melbourne and look at their brand new Pinto. The Pinto is the perfect combination of form and function. Thanks to City Toyota, Dan Paris checks out the all new gutsy Toyota Land Cruiser 70 Series. The 70 Series has a history of reliability and it's gathered a loyal mass of followers. And our Wasanda celebrity hitchhiker is Brody Young from The Price is Right. And finally, I get to check out one of the most exciting cars on the market, the all new 2014 Subaru Impreza WRX STI, thanks to City Subaru. If you're wondering what STI actually stands for, it's Subaru Technica International. So put on your racing helmets, because it's time for Zoom TV. Three letters, that's all it takes to take something that's great and make it mind-blowing. If we're talking premium cars, those three letters could be AMG. If we were talking muscle cars, it could be HSV. But if we're talking pure, ultimate driving experience based on years of rally championships, there's only three letters. That's S-T-I. That's right. Today, we're experiencing the crazy new Subaru WRX STI. And as you can tell, I'm excited. <laughs> If you're wondering what STI actually stands for, it's Subaru Technica International. And if this badge is on your car, you're gonna have a great time. It marks the car as a top of the range model and the performance you'll get out of it is on another level. This is the 2014 Impreza WRX STI. Now, if you're familiar with the World Rally Championship, you would have high expectations for this car because Subaru have been leading the pack for decades. And the great thing for us everyday drivers is all of that experience and technology from the track has been filtered down and refined, and now we get to drive it. To start with, the Boxer engine in the STI is a 2.5 litre turbo with 221 kilowatts of power, which will take you from zero to 100 in under five seconds. Now, that would be scary, except for the fact that the all-wheel drive and overall sporty ride is designed specifically to keep you in control. One thing you'll notice about the 2014 STI is its firmer ride, and that's because Subaru have increased the spring rate on the suspension by 62%. You're also going to love its cornering, and that's thanks to Subaru's torque vectoring system. What that does is apply brakes to the inner wheel just slightly and sends more torque to the outer wheel, making cornering so much safer. The result is that even in heavy, fast cornering, the STI stays very flat with minimal body roll which gives you more control backed up by the stopping power of ventilated Brembo discs. The gearbox is only available in a six-speed manual, but honestly, that's the only way to drive a car like this. The interior is as sporty as you'd expect. You get leather seats with red highlight stitching, D-shaped steering wheel, and you get handles all throughout the cabin just in case things get a little bit scary. Now you also get everything you'd expect in a luxury car like Bluetooth connectivity, sat nav with voice control, smart key push button start, and you also get, which I love, the stereo system with the big subwoofer in the boot. It's an impressive beast with an impressive list of features, but the biggest news is the price. Subaru Australia are offering it up at $10,000 less than last year's model, and that's with all the latest gear. With rally technology and a new price tag that'll make your wallet fall in love with it, the all new 2014 Subaru WRX STI is one of the most exciting cars on the road. 
Now, if you're in the market for a great handling, grunty car that still feels normal on the daily commute, get into City Subaru or follow the links from Zoom TV. After the break, Dan Paris, thanks to City Toyota, is going to introduce you to the new gutsy Toyota Land Cruiser 70 Series that's next on Zoom TV. If the walls of my garage could talk, they would tell the story of Toyota Land Cruiser. Yes, indeed, my relationship with these vehicles began more than 15 years ago in a 60 series that took me to the most remote corners of this country. And it continues now in my much loved 100 series. But given the choice, there is a vehicle out there that I would leap at. Now this is a hardy machine and it has more power. And get your ears around this, guys. This one is a ute. That's right, it ticks nearly every box a bloke could hope for. But then it's the same old problem. It's a ute, it's only got two seats, there's no room for the family. Men, feel your pain until now. Say hello to the Land Cruiser GXL 70 Series Double Cab. The 70 Series has a history of reliability and it's gathered a loyal mass of followers. Visit a remote community or pass through a cattle station where the terrain is its toughest and guess what you find? It's for that very reason that City Toyota have this vehicle front and centre and it's basking in all its glory. And why wouldn't they? I mean, look at her. She's got a slightly wider body, she's got a big front bumper, and this sporty looking bonnet scoop that lets onlookers know, that's right, she has an intercooler under her skin. Do you know the thing I love most about this Land Cruiser? Is that the designers have kept that legendary, up for any challenge look. I mean, this is a car that is ready for a hard time. And here's the reason why. Under the bonnet is a 4.5 litre V8 turbo diesel engine. It produces 151 kilowatts of power at 3,400 revs. Where would this grunt be its handiest? Well, in any occasion really. But put it in front of a trailer or a caravan and that's when this workhorse will really impress. So I've had a long history with Land Cruiser. I'm very excited about this one. I mean, come on, what's your favourite feature? My favourite feature is actually the overall feature, Dan. It's actually manufacturing, listening to the customer. We've got a lot of tradies, a lot of primary producers, and even the mine sites that traditionally have always had a single cab chassis. The toys have got bigger, the tradies' equipment's got bigger, and they need more people in the vehicle. So fortunately, Toyota has come out with a dual cab with the great towing capacity of the Land Cruiser at three and a half tonne. Yeah, it's a perfect one for the family as well. And I guess that's just listening to, you know, the target audience, isn't it, and giving them what they want. Yeah, exactly. So we've got the creature comforts inside, so we've got dual airbags, ABS brakes, electric windows and those sort of things, but as well as creating the extra space. Now, I guess the question on uh, most blokes' mind at this point is, V8 engine, is it thirsty? Actually, from the traditional uh, straight six, it's gone to the V8, uh, and it's got a single turbo, and it's actually cheaper in fuel economy. It's at 11.9 litres per 100 k's. That's fantastic. Inside looks the goods and is home to a number of creature comforts. This is a Landy that's moved ahead in more ways than one. This no mucking around dash is spot on too. It places all the important controls like these front and rear diff lock here, right where you need them. I mean, it's tough, but it's not ugly. My God, this engine has power. Now there's a couple of models in the range, so jump online to citytoyota.net.au or drop into any of their dealerships. You know, I've never tried this at home, but here's a tip, fellas. Friends of mine reckon, if you get a picture of the one thing you just can't live without and you stick it on the fridge, in six months' time, you'll have it. Not sure of the science behind that, but if that fails, just tell her it has five seats. Guys, our time is now. Heading away on a holiday somewhere sounds perfect, doesn't it? Going there and relaxing and just forgetting about any problems that you have. But if you're like me, heading away on a holiday, on a long plane trip, aeroplane food, taxi lines, and fitting in with someone else's schedule, well, that's not really my idea of a holiday. What if you could just jump in a beautiful motorhome and explore this country of ours and do it on your own terms? Well, that sounds perfect to me, but to some, they think, no, big motorhomes, I don't want one. Well, I have the perfect, luxurious, compact solution for you. Meet the all new Sunliner Pinto. Sunliner have been making caravans, motorhomes and camper vans in Australia for nearly 40 years. And these days they are at the forefront of the industry. They have models in all shapes and sizes to suit all travellers. And the Pinto combines the comfort of the larger models with a compact and easy to manage size. The Pinto is the perfect combination of form and function. And as does every Sunliner, everything added to the vehicle looks great and has a use. 
and the smart designers at Sunliner have worked extremely hard to give you a motorhome that provides you space, comfort, style and performance. With so many years of experience, it's no surprise that Sunliner are the leaders in the field of motorhomes and caravans. With almost 40 years in the business, they've picked up some very interesting ways to put everything into a vehicle. The Pinto comes in four separate interior layouts, and today we're looking at the Pinto 1. What strikes you first about this model is the inside is much bigger than it looks on the outside. The finishes on the furniture and appliances are top quality, and you can really tell how much time Sunline had spent crafting each element. Okay, so it's time to prove to you that the Pinto is a completely self-contained motorhome with all the mod cons. Firstly, up the front, you get fully rotatable front seats, which open up into the dining room, which is flanked by modern sofas and, of course, your big dining table. And then you say to yourself, where's the bed? Well, give me one second, bear with me, and all you've got to do at the end of the day is flick a switch, and the master bed comes from the roof. So there you go, you get your double bed, kitchen sink, of course, heaps of storage options. You've got a cupboard over here for your food, three burner stove, oven, microwave, 120 litre fridge, and of course, through here, you find your ensuite, which I really like separating it from the living area. You get your full shower, large shower head, toilet, and even more storage options. There is also an optional bike rack available for the more adventurous souls. The Thermotuff walls are high tech. They're fully insulated and come fitted with a reverse cycle air conditioner, so you can keep the inside at your ideal temperature no matter where you are. If your travelling feet are starting to get itchy and you want the comfort of your home on the road, then it's time to check out the Sunliner Pinto. The full Sunliner range and details can be found at sunliner.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. Coming up after the break, I head to Queensland and catch up with the Fraser Coast Motor Centre. Thanks to Asanda, that's next on Zoom TV. Welcome to Maryborough, a small country town located in the heart of the Fraser Coast, North Queensland. There is so much history here. There's buildings 100 years old. There's people, I'm sure, that are 100 years old. But it's famous for two reasons. Firstly, we used to receive immigrants from all around the world here. Secondly, Mary Poppins was written right here in Fraser Coast. The author was born here, which is fantastic. But we're here, thanks to Asanda, to meet the longest serving Ford franchise in Australia. So come on. Let's go check him out. Now, Russell, you head up the dealership here. Now, you've had it for a relatively short time, but there's a bit of a history there, I'm told, as well. It's actually a, it's a, real, uh, a real historical story, really. Like, 1898 was when the dealership was first built. Uh, it was the longest serving, uh, surviving Ford dealership in Australia. We've now been selling and servicing for 114 years. Wow. So when you bought into the dealership, I mean, how did you find the, the transition of taking over a dealership and adding your values and your qualities to it? We came here in about, about 12 years ago now, and uh, we evolved into taking on the Ford franchise, obviously, mm -hmm. and, and, and then with Hyundai. And we've got other great brands like Volkswagen and Suzuki as well. At the same time, my family decided we would, we would all invest in the business by physically being here. Mm -hmm. So now it's my wife and my, my two sons both work in the business now. Now, going back to the town, and there's a lot of history in the town, but there's a great feeling of um, camaraderie. There's a great feeling of town. Yeah, well, Mirabar is uh, built on a lot of family and, and stable history, uh, being one of the first ports ever in Queensland and receiving people and goods. So it's Customs House, and uh, I think that, that uh, history has evolved and, and Maribor has continued to be the same way all that time. It helps with the market day and yeah. people who don't know the area, tourists, uh, tourist destination. And I think that's great. With the Mary Poppins history, it also um, brings people into town. Well, I actually um, didn't believe that Mary Poppins author started here. Yeah. Um, I've seen the statue, so, well, if you've got a statue, it happened. Yes, that's true, it's true, <laughs> and it's quite a good sized statue. Now, you've got other dealerships out of here as well. Yeah, well, see, our business is the Fraser Coast. With with, with the Fraser Coast, that's Meribah and Harvey Bay, and we look after both those cities. 
and we've got Volkswagen and Suzuki predominantly in Harvey Bay, and here we've got Ford and Hyundai. Now, Russell, you mentioned you had your family working here, yep. two sons and a wife. Yes. I would like to go deeper into the company and meet one of them. You choose. I think you should meet Jeremy. He's the one that's going to pick up the baton for the next, next part of the business, the next generation. I think that's probably the way to go. So you're going to handball me to Jeremy. Let's go. OK. Jeremy, nice to meet Aaron. Aaron, Pip Zoom TV, how nice are you, mate? You, Aaron. Now, I want to ask you some questions if you've got some time. Sure. Someone's got to run the business, I've got to go. See you later. Perfect timing. Thank you. Now, Jeremy, how did you get involved in the company? Pretty much the first school holidays. Um, there's your show me son, come to work. <laughs> so uh, that's what I remember, and, and it sort of has yeah, carried on from there. It's very, very welcoming, this town, isn't it? Oh, very much so. It's, um, it's a regional town with a big heart. It's got a lot of history, as um, you've seen already this morning, Aaron. Um, and uh, yeah, we pride ourselves here in Maribor, and so much so we're investing a couple of million dollars uh, in Harvey Bay um, to give back to the community. Now, I want to know what you've got back in the town. So you obviously have uh, Hyundai, you have yes. Ford. Yep. Um, Suzuki as well, and a new addition, Volkswagen. And basically, we're, we're looking to develop that brand as it's a new brand, um, and hence the new facilities. We can't contain what we've got now. We're growing too quick. Your service department looks great, but I'm guessing that's going to grow as well. Oh, definitely, definitely. We've made provisions for um, the, the long term, you know, a 10-year plan to work out where our workshop's going to be, where our customers are going to be. Um, and we're going to make sure we look after our customers with the servicing, because a lot of people think they know what they can do with the servicing, and we try to help them recognise the technology in these cars these days. And we, we don't just look after the servicing of the car. We offer, we've offer. we got a whole after sales department which is um, based on vehicle care. So we look after the product with you know rust prevention and window tin and basically look after the customer, the vehicle and the longevity of their asset. Jeremy, thank you very much for getting us all the way here to the Fraser Coast. I love the history that's here. I've got to go catch up with Mary Poppins. But before I do, you did mention you're opening up a new yard next year. You just mentioned it. New state-of-the-art dealership. Be good to see. Bay, middle next year. see. Uh, you guys should really come back. I think we will. I think we will. It's a deal. Thank you very much. To join the Fraser Coast Motors family, go to fcmc.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. Coming up after the break, I'm with this week's Asanda celebrity hitchhiker. You might know him from The Price is Right. Actually, you know his voice, Mr. Brody Young. He's with me next on Zoom TV. Welcome back to Zoom TV and this week's Celebrity Hitchhiker. Normally, I'd be inside the Zoomobile, but I'm not. It didn't make the trip. So we're catching up with this week's celebrity at his favourite coffee haunt. Mr Brody Young from The Price Is Right. And I can't wait to hear Aaron Pitt. Come on down. Brody, how are you? I'm um, well, we're just tucking into my little uh, soy latte there. Mate, you've got me a beautiful coffee. I appreciate that. Now, for people that don't know what you do, Mr Brody Young, give them a demo. Oh, OK. Uh, well, here we are at the spare room. I'm with Aaron. Come on down! Welcome to The Price is Right. I want to talk about how you started. Oh, how did you get dear. Uh, my introduction was through Big Brother way back in the day. Over a decade ago now, actually. Uh, it was a fun introduction to the industry. I knew nothing about it. You jump in the deep end and you either sink or swim. And luckily I sort of swam and um, found my feet and uh, really enjoy what I'm doing now. It was a fun industry to be involved in. I mean, you get to see a lot of Australia, you get to meet lots of people, get involved with lots of different charity groups and all that sort of stuff. Um, I was, ironically, still at uni back in the day, studying engineering and industrial design, but kind of put that on the back burner because this industry is just a little more fun. Ended up doing a, a late night game show called Quizmania. Um, did a uh, music show on uh, SBS called Noise TV. That was a lot of fun. And uh, you just new projects come up, and you put your hand up and get involved. And this one, at yeah, the price is right by far, is uh, my most fun one yet. I'm going to ask a question that everyone at home wants to know. Yep. Has there ever, ever been, you're up there and there's a mistake, you know, right at the bit where, the right at the end of the showcase and something goes wrong, a technical fault. Come on, let us in. Oh, us absolutely. In. I mean, I've got my whole script up there and you've got to stick to that pretty much verbatim and every time I sort of, you might see something out of the corner of your eye and you want to react to it, but you've got to sort of have to stick to your guns. Um, pronunciation, putting the right emphasis on the right syllable is uh, very important too. Um, Good old Royal Salangor, the nice glassware. Not Royal Salangor, as I said, <laughs> I think the first show. Now, mate, this is the Asanda Fast Five, the hard point. Dim the lights, <laughs> lower the voice, get the tension mood. Welcome to the Asanda Fast Five. OK, so the first question, what was your first car? I bought it off my dad. It was a 1982 Ford Meteor Gear. Nice. The Lewis seats, 
um, an aerial that you pulled up out of the A pillar. It was a ripper machine. Okay, next question would be what is your opinion of the best car on the road and why? I love the Audi RS5. An absolute rocket ship, what, 400 kilowatts, built in this two door beastie kind of thing. But still, it's, you know, it's a bit like a Brighton car. It's a bit of a cruiser. You know, the, the, the mum could drop the kids off to the school in it and stuff. What is your opinion of the worst car ever made and why? But the worst car on the road, in my opinion, is a Camry. Camry. And I think go. it's got more to do with the drivers of the Camry <laughs> than like, back in the day when I was younger, I was a teenager, you'd pick on Volvo drivers and go, oh God, there's a Volvo driver. Don't get stuck behind them. Nowadays, I reckon it's Camry drivers. I don't know if it's a Melbourne thing or what it is. Now, what car do you currently drive? As of yesterday, I drove an Audi A4. There you go. Yeah, and um, just sold it. So I'm an official celebrity hitchhiker now. And the last question, this yeah. is the deep question. What's your greatest fear and why? Ooh, greatest fear. Well, current job, being a voiceover guy, greatest fear would be to, and I'm shoplifting this answer, <laughs> losing my voice. Subtitles. Well, you can always put subtitles nice. up with it. Brody, thank you very, very much for being on the show. I really pleasure. appreciate it. You're busy, price is right, everything is going crazy. All good. Now, sometimes with professionals like yourself, I like to get you to help me close the show. Sure. Okay, so uh, I want you to say goodbye to people. Give it a go. You've been watching Zoom TV, brought to you by Asanda Finance. Tune in next week where we give away a new car. No, Not just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> for more details, go to www.zoomtv.com.au. And we're done. Now, if you'd like to know anything more from today's show, go to our website, zoomtv.com.au. Now, while you're there, if you're part of a motoring club or an enthusiast, make sure you tell us about any events you have coming up. We'll give it a plug. You never know, we might even come along. So until next week, bye for now. And remember, whatever you do that zooms, make sure you do it safe. And that's a wrap.